All right, we're going. Oh. All right. Hola. Hola, everyone. Welcome to Rolling Round Europe, Europe in Rolling. Week 18. Wow. 18. We're going to keep it really short this week. For those of you who don't know us, we're Kevin Clare. We're traveling around Europe in a motorhome. We're from New Zealand. Um, check out the video. We've got to have a map to show where we're going. Um, and Claire's got a story. I do have a story. A funny thing happened on the way to the park today. Yes. So the other day we were parked up in a, a air and um, we had the door open and this old guy in a Range Rover, really uh, old, Land, old, Land old Land Rover, came slowly driving by from the road and I looked at him and he looked at me and I thought, oh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. I don't think we're really meant to be parked here. Um, but he then held up a dozen eggs in a tray and he'd obviously just been to his chickens and got some eggs and he sold us a dozen farm fresh eggs. So it was really nice. That's cool. Bonus. He was lovely. We'll have eggs for next week. Bonus. Yeah, we had them the other night and they're really nice. All right, everyone. Enjoy yeah. the video. If enjoy. you haven't already clicked like and subscribe and all that sort of stuff, please do it. We really appreciate it. Da, 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 oh, that's a bit of a... Bit of a teaser, do you recognise the music? <coughs> We're not allowed to put it on the video. No, it's just me. G-O-T. <laughs> See you later, everyone. Very pretty balustrades along here with the oars and ropes, are they? Very nice houses along to the right here as well. Nice little beach bar here. Very nice houses in behind that. house or it's a hotel a bit further up here look at that pretty very pretty indeed Right, we just arrived at a place called Mirador del Fitu, which is Mirador means view, basically. And it's come up a bit of a mountain, and it's supposed to offer us, offer us a bit of a view. But the weather has closed in, so we may not be too, so lucky. Let's have a look. Yeah, not too bad, is it? Very stormy looking. But quite a cool view. Let's go up further. It's a bit of a viewing tower up there. Right, upstairs. King of the castle. Well, you can see down to the villages down there. You can hear cowbells. by clouds. It would be a pretty cool view through there if there wasn't clouds.
Look at us. We're in the poo. We're in the poo. <laughs> We're at the play of the poo. Play with the poo? Play with the poo. So. Being very is, mature, aren't we? We are being very mature. And, and you can hear in the background the cowbells. We always need more cowbells. We always need more cowbells at the play of the poo. We have to go and find some signs, are not we? We are. The evidence of the poo. Yeah. You've got to watch out when you walk on the beach down there because it's the poo beach. What am I doing, Claire? I'm walking up Poo Creek without a paddle. <laughs> Over here is Poo Beach. The tide at Poo Beach goes out pretty quickly, and everyone, it's very shallow all the way out to the entrance there. Everyone's having a wee paddle. Paddle in Poo Beach. Just got to watch where you walk a bit because of all the poo. Just a little bit of a look back up to the Poo Beach hotels. We just had coffee at the one on the left. Very picturesque spot. Yeah, we're not in Switzerland, but it sounds like it. Hello, you want a candid camera? A piece of nature's artwork there, it's lovely, isn't it? Grand Hotel. G.H. Sardinero. Here we come to the casino. It's a grand old hotel as well. Okay, we're just walking into the village of Puentede. Got a nice little stream going through. Up there is a bridge. That bridge is actually an old railway which is now a cycle trail. Down there you can see a wooden carved eagle on a post, which is pretty cool. And the star of the show is this over here. village is built over this cave. And here's the village. Looks like a nice little cafe. I think it might be a uh, compulsory stop there, ain't clear? Many caves down there.
Caves of St. Barnaby. So there's a church of some sort built right into the rocks. Okay, we're at Espinosa de los Monteros a place called Velasco Tower, Torre de los Velasco and we're going to go inside and see what's inside Defensive tower, medieval dates. You see the different floors. Hopefully, those rocks haven't fallen down. <laughs> I might stay under, under here actually. Some round object there. I wonder if it's a well. See the uh, arrow slits. Some wooden beams are still there. Wow, oh, oh, interesting. And here's one or two rectangular structures off to the side. See some blocks come out of there. Let's go in here and have a look. Okay, so there's a bit of a wall. Hmm. Recent feed been had by someone here. Okay. It would have been, it would have been a barrier maybe for the door. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, we're looking at Gastalugache. Excuse the pronunciation, I've got it wrong. But there's a hermit at John the Hill, and it is famous because of Game of Thrones, which I have never watched, so I can't really vouch for. But it's a pretty idyllic setting. Apart from in the distance there, the oil rig. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, let's go and take on the stairs. Right here we are at the bottom of Gastalugetche.
lots of archways, one going through there, and two going through there, which there's another one on that island. Right, the walk begins. Amazing pattern on the rocks down there, see the crisscross pattern? Which is actually emulated again in the pathway, which is interesting. Right, this looks like a pretty narrow path. They limit the people that can come each day. You've got to buy tickets, well, they're free at the moment, but you, um, you've got to book tickets online before you come. It's pretty good that it's limited because I can imagine with a few busloads of people this place will fill up. Behind us there is a busload of elderly people coming which will be interesting to see how they get on with the path. Let's have a look down there how clear that water is. It's quite cool to um, kayak through some of these. Look at those strata all up and ended. Must have been something pretty violent. goes the stairway. Just looking back at the bridge and the two archways. Amazing shot of those strata. And in the distance a couple of lighthouses. Can anyone tell us what episode of Game of Thrones this is from? I didn't watch it so I'm no use. Write it in the comments below, it'd be good. Right, last few steps. Here we are at the Hermitage. I won't try and say its name at the moment. Do you know the story about the bell? No, what's the story with the bell, Claire? So that rope there, yeah. you're meant to ring the bell three times and it grants your wish. Ah, uh, right, but they've That's put it so high up you can't reach it. And they've tucked it into the door, so people don't ring can't it. do it anymore. <laughs> yeah. What if I put you on my shoulders and get up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, so that's the story with the bell. So this is the um, Hermitage, or what's the name of it? Donien. Right, time to head back down. Oh, whose footprint? So apparently the footprint you're supposed to put your foot in it, one at the bottom and one at the top and you get good luck and clear apparently did that so we're going to have good luck going down. Yeah, I'm not going to break anything going down. Right, he's ready to go for a jog. The colour of that water. Cool. Right, race to the bottom clear. I love these little drains, they look really old. Don't work so well anymore, they go up at the end, but got a bit of age to them.